Hey everyone, welcome back to the lands of Bentley. And Mr. Jenkins is getting a little hungry. So I've decided to go ahead and grab him some seeds. And we're gonna make him a quick chest. So yeah, that should be enough. That should be more than enough seeds for Mr. Jenkins. Uh, well, we already got a chest for him. Good, we'll use that. All right, Mr. Jenkins, I have food. Don't you worry. So I went ahead and worked on my bedroom a little bit more. I uh, got some pumpkins uh, or jack-o'-lanterns behind these paintings here. Uh, looks really nice without um, the use of so many torches. And still haven't really decided on what to use for the walls or ceiling here in my bedroom. But I might work on something very soon. Oh yeah, that looks good there. So here is our new cage for Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> I like it. Mr. Jenkins! Hello. I see you down there. You can't hide from me. Yes, I know you're down there. Well, I brought you some, um, food. If you don't mind. Here you go. Oh, I love you too, Mr. Jenkins. I've also got another special treat for you. Um, you know what? We'll go ahead and leave your cage open today. Why not? I think that's a good idea. I like his cage. It's pretty cool. So, I've done a little bit of fishing and managed to actually get some uh, good catches. Let's uh, see what we got here. So this is everything that I've caught. I was fishing for quite a while. I uh, really wanted to get these guys right here, these name tags, and I managed to get three. Now, I'm probably just gonna be using one for the moment, but I did get a bunch of salmon. We got a bunch of fish. We got some leather boots, uh, <laughs> some clownfish, puffer, uh, uh, puffer fish, not putter fish. I've also got this awesome Flame one, eh, flame one, power three, unbreaking three bow. Sorry, I can't help it, I'm excited. So I'm gonna put that back and grab you. Uh, this one's an unbreaking three, and I did manage to get this fishing rod as well. Unbreaking three, lure two, luck of, the, bleh, luck of the sea two. I cannot talk today. <laughs> Calm down, Bentley, I know. I am just, I'm just that excited. I'm just that excited. I did fish this out of the uh, river up by our ravine. So that's where I was doing all my fishing at. I think what I'm gonna do is also probably just cook all of the salmon except for a little bit. Actually, what am I doing? Let's see, maybe we'll hold on to eight raw salmon. I'm gonna cook up the rest. I kinda have been just in the mood to eat some fish. Don't ask me why. Just. Don't ask. <laughs> so I'm also gonna go ahead and grab a redstone lamp and a lever. Because there was a suggestion and I liked it. I was gonna use um, emerald or maybe like a diamond block but I don't feel like wasting that right now. And we're gonna place this right in here. So I'm gonna take that, we're gonna put a lever there, flip it on, put the redstone lamp right there. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Later on, I might go ahead and change that out for some emerald or diamond. I'm not sure. Or even possibly gold. Who knows? Um, I think I want to try something else really quick. So let me go ahead and grab some more redstone. Grab eight pieces of that. Oops. The mouse is flying everywhere. And I think we're going to need eight pieces of... Glowstone. There we go. Two more. Alright, I want to try something. I don't know if this is going to make a difference at all as far as looks, because I'm pretty sure it's not going to help lighting whatsoever, so. Let's pick you up. And you. And then right. Thank you, Mr. Jenkins. Much appreciated. I'll definitely take those and place those in the chest as well. So I'm going to put these here and see if that does anything. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I like it. Adds depth. Much enjoyable. All right, we'll put the eggs down on the bottom there. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave a lead in here. And I'm also going to grab a fence to leave in here um, for Mr. Jenkins. That way, if I do let him out of his cage, he can uh, do a little bit of wandering around, but not too far, of course. Let's grab one fence post, and I need an anvil. And I got one down there. Perfect. So we're going to rename this name tag to Mr. Jenkins. Here we go. 
Name tag. Oops. We'll fix that. Mr. Jenkins. Should I have a space? Yeah, why not? So an enchantment cost of one. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that I've updated to the latest snapshot just because, well, I have some plans today. And I've uh, read that the newest snapshot uh, from Minecraft has added in some new blocks. So I'm going to go on a little bit of an adventure today. and Hopefully we can find some of those. So Mr. Jenkins, here you go. I made this for you. Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> awesome. All right, Mr. Jenkins, I'm going to come down here, and we're going to place, um, where do I want to put this? Because I don't want you close to over there, because I don't want you wandering around that lava. All right, maybe we could do that. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. I'm going to let you out for a little while. Here you go. Here's your lead. Now, this probably is not going to work very well. Hmm. Actually, if I go out and do a little bit of exploring, these leads are probably going to break. So I'm just going to leave them in his cage. Come on, Mr. Jenkins. Come up here. Come on. Come over here. Mr. Jenkins. Come on. Get back in your cage. There you go. Nope, nope. You're going the wrong way, Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I am going to punch you, but you're lucky I don't. I'm a nice guy. Wow, man, that cage is small. Oop, go in there. Alright. You stay, Mr. Jenkins. Stay. I don't even know how I'm gonna. Mr. Jenkins? What do I have to do? I need to find... I think that's what my problem is here. I really need to find a nice, easy way for me to get Mr. Jenkins in here. In and out. Without much of an issue. So if I put him there... Good. He's stuck there for the moment. And then I had... The stairs upside down... But not there. I had it placed like this. And that. There we go. So I'm going to have to find a way to get Mr. Jenkins in and out of his cage here. But I think for now that'll work. Alright, Mr. Jenkins. I'm going to leave you, uh, your cage open just a little bit here. Don't mind. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. And hopefully we can find us some new, um, some new blocks. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. Alright, so another thing that I wanted to do before I left, though, is I wanted to grab some carrots and some gold. So I'm going to take two of these guys. And I think we'll leave two nuggets in there. And let's find us some carrots. I know I got some carrots around here somewhere. Preferably, probably in here. Preferably, probably. That makes sense. <laughs> Alright, and I think I got a crafting table up here. So, I've had a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I took... I took Eclipse out to the Mesa to harvest some more sand. And, um... I'm definitely going to be using leads from now on because what happened was... She wandered into a cactus, and, well, long story short, bad things happened. So, here we go. Wow. What? Brown. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, then. That's fine. That, that's that's perfectly okay. I am going to take one of you, one of you, and I'll probably chop a tree down here in a little bit. Um, you, no. I think you were actually kind of slow. I think you were a little bit faster. So we are going to take you on our adventure. We need to go generate some new terrain, I think. Possibly. <laughs> I'm not sure of this. 
Um, yeah, let's go get some uh, some wood. And I think I might head out. Oh, it's nighttime. All right, we're gonna take a quick snooze right here. You stay right there, Eclipse. I'm still naming you Eclipse. <laughs> I don't care. I'm still naming you Eclipse. All right, let's go. Daytime, best time to travel. Wow, those grew really quick. I just harvested those. Holy jeez. Wow, everything grows quick now. Um, all right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use some of this. Right, we're gonna go ahead and quickly make ourselves up a crafting table. Quickly make up a fence. There we go. And I think we're ready to ride. All right, here we go. I think for generating new terrain, I think I might head out this way. I think that would be a good idea. Out past the mesa. Plus, there was a couple things I wanted to look for as well. Oh, oh, oh. Careful there. You're not too good in water there, Eclipse. Yeah, don't worry. I am going to be naming Eclipse with a name tag soon as well. But I'm going to wait until I get another name tag. And I might uh, possibly see about a little bit more horse breeding first and see what happens. Wait, was that water there before? Okay. <laughs> Just go along with it. I don't remember if that water was there. But I do like the way that looks around all that red sand. It looks awesome. Those colors work very well together in my opinion. Alright, Mesa. Me and you time. Holy snap, I did not know this mesa was this big. This is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. A lot bigger than I thought it would be. I don't even know if I've generated all this yet. Wow. Oh, actually... Nope, that's still Mesa. Jeez. This is a pretty big Mesa biome. Oh my gosh, and this is cool. It's got like a... Um, kind of like a little ravine built into it too. Or a canyon of sort, maybe. And how am I going to get around this? I think we'll probably have the best luck over here. Plus, this gives me a chance to kind of explore what this is all going to give me. Ooh, 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 this is going to be dangerous. Okay, I, I thought, I thought this would be, oh, sorry, you're good, right? You're fine? Good. All right, I hope you can jump. All right, good, you can jump enough. That's, that's good. Perfect, all right. Still on our way, good. Phew. Ah, you had me worried there for a minute, Eclipse. Or different named horse. Jeez, I did not know that this Mesa biome was so huge. And I was trying to skimp out on the um, hardened clay for a little bit because I didn't know how big it was. Oh, jeez. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, well, what's what's happening? Oh, oh, you tricky little cactus. It was super effective. Horses are weak against uh, cactus, apparently. <laughs> this is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is like Mesa Spires or something. Is this like a new biome or something? Bryce? Mesa Bryce? Huh. I like it. <laughs> I really do. I like that. Now, I don't have this world on large biomes. This is a really big mesa biome. And I'm starting to wonder if this has anything to do with... <gasps> Savannah. That's what I was looking for. I need some of these um, trees. I don't have any of these yet. Good. We are going to pick ourselves up some savannah um, saplings. Sheep. You stay away from my horse. I see you coming here. You stay away from my horse. Alright. Clips, you stay here. I don't trust you. 
Let's go ahead and chop down some of these because I have yet to pick up any of these in saplings. So hopefully these will go ahead and degrade a little bit. I'm going to try to pick up a few more around while that one um, fades away. Alright, let me in. I hear you, chicken. I hear you clucking about. Alright, I think that'll work for now. Yeah, we got 15. I love the way the acacia wood looks and the planks. I know it's a little orangey, but the um, actual wood itself looks really nice, I think. We'll go along well with some of the other ideas I have in store. Alright, now I don't need that much. Just like one or two saplings and I'll be happy. I promise. I do have shears. I don't know if these actually... Acacia leaves. I don't know if that actually helps drop saplings or not, but I am going to go ahead and pick up some acacia leaves just because. Why not? Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, is that two? No. There's two. Good. Oh, there's another one. And another one. All right, I'm happy. We can leave now. <laughs> All right, Eclipse, let's go. We have leaves. We have saplings. Let's go. Let's ride. All right, what do we have all this way? That was exactly what I was hoping for. A savanna very close to that mesa biome. So that I could get some of those leaves and saplings. Got an idea for some leaves very soon in the base. All right, now for what I'm understanding, these new blocks are supposed to be able to be generated... I think in the new terrain... Either on the surface, I think on some, and... <gasps> Is that it? I think I think that's it right there. Nice. All right. Clips, don't you go anywhere. You stay there. So what are you? Andesite. All right. That's nice. I'm going to pick this up. See what we got here. Diorite. Plus, I think you can actually make these as well. But I don't know the crafting recipe. That's why I'm out exploring and trying to find it and see how large the nodes are here for finding these. It looks like it's kind of large. My question is, can I do anything with them? Ah, polished diorite. Does that do anything? Hmm... Doesn't look too bad. It's a little too sporadic, I think, for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up anyway. We're gonna grab all of this that we can. And hopefully my pickaxe doesn't break. Because I'd hate to have to resort to using my silk touch pickaxe for this. Now this almost looks like gravel. I'm not too sure what I would use this for. I think there's like supposed to be... Uh, never mind, I'm not even going to say because I don't even remember how many different new blocks that they're supposed to be. So I'm not even going to name it. Oop, piece of cobblestone there. Alright. Well, we got plenty of andesite and diorite. I'm going to kind of explore around this little cave here. See if I can't find anything else. Is this... Diorite. Hello, creeper. Wow, caves are going to be completely different. Well, I'm not seeing... Too much different different variety here. Andesite and diorite is practically what I'm seeing so far. I'll take the iron. Just because. I can always use me some iron. Well, it almost looks like someone's actually been here. <laughs> Just because there's a... um. Like a small doorway there, almost. But I know for a fact that that is not the case. 
Oh, hey, Fred, how you doing, buddy? I ain't seen you in a while. Have you seen any, um, fancy blocks? <gasps> There's another one. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of you guys around here. Oh, there's more. Fred, I'm not worried about you. Oh, yep, he's sneaking up behind me. Fred, why you gotta be like this? And your friend's behind you. All right, that will kind of help. All right, fellas, come on, line up. Fred brought his family. I don't think he was too happy with me coming, trying to find new blocks today. But you know what? Too bad. Come on. I'm still here. Come on, Fred. Come on. I ain't fine. I'll come aid you. Ooh, a carrot. I don't suppose you guys could drop me like a um potato or something, could you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat real quick, and I'm going to pick up some of this stuff. And, of course, the iron. So what is this? Granite. I like the sound of that. I am going to grab a lot of granite. <laughs> I like granite. Fred! Frank! You guys keep bothering me. I don't like this. You guys are... Is there a spawner in here? I have a sneaking suspicion. There's a good possibility there could be just a um, spawner in here somewhere. Eat it! Ow. Alright, I only had one arrow. It's not fair. Well, that was really nice, actually. Shoot him! Ow! You're supposed to shoot him, not me! Come here, you skeleton! Alright, nice. Good. I'm trying to see if there's a spawner in here or something. What? Hello? Under me? Above me. Above me! Hmm. Right? Fine then, we're going up. Sorry, Fred. I need through here. Hey! Don't you try to sneak up on me like that. Hello? Oh, I see a creeper horde down there. Jeez, Fred, where were you coming from? I hear you everywhere. You know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna worry about it. All right. Well, this is what I was looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and collect some of this. I'm gonna head back to base. I'm gonna try and collect as much of this grain as possible. I think there was actually. There might have been another one. I'm not sure. I can't remember if it said three or four different types of like new brick or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish mining out this granite. I'm gonna head back to base. We'll see you back in just a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't my base. <laughs> That's right, because we are out at the plains where we got our horses from. I uh, remember not long ago, I think there was a taiga around here or something, and that's what we want. I'm looking for a new friend of the canine persuasion. So I went ahead, stopped by the base, and dropped off a few items. I think there's a taiga off this way, I want to say. Yep, there it is. I see the spruce. Alright, and I went ahead and also grabbed my salmon. <laughs> it just looks so scrumptious and delicious, I had to have it. So, I'm looking for some some little wolves, some dogs. They should spawn in around here somewhere. They like to hang in. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Hello, friend. You look... You look kind of nice. Oh, hey, look, you even got some friends. But you have been chosen. I have a bone. Do you like bones? You like to gnaw on bones, little guy? Do you? Here. Where are you going? I have a lot of them for you. You don't like me? <gasps> he likes me! Hey, he's a little buddy. How you doing? Alright. Well, good. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and make our way back to base then. And you're going to follow me, right? Right? Good. 
Alright, I think... Oh, no. Alright, we came from that way, so base is this way. So let's, um, head back that way. Alright, sun's going down. I'm gonna make my way back to base real quick. This guy is going to be right behind me. Good. Alright, see you shortly. Alright, you. I just now thought about this. I just grabbed my lead from our horse stable there. I don't trust you. So, oh, darn it. Fine. You sit up, and you follow me. I don't... I don't trust you. I forgot. There's lava around here. <laughs> this is dangerous, and I want you to follow me quickly across this. Come on. There we go. Now, I'm gonna let you stay in my bedroom. Hey, hey. What? How did that happen? How did you get down? Okay. This is gonna be difficult. Now, I, now I gotta watch out for the cactuses. How the heck did you get down there, boy? Oh no, stay, stay away from the cactuses. Okay, this base is completely dangerous for pets. Don't give me that. Alright, fine. Follow me quickly. Let me just run in here and hopefully he'll just be right behind me. Just don't teleport into the lava. Good. Alright. And why are you all messed up? You look kind of, kind of weird. But don't... Alright, fine. Well, we're gonna leave you in here in my bedroom. Look at you, you're already on my... What am I gonna do with you? Alright, well, I'm gonna let you stay on my bed then. I was gonna just put you over here next to my bed. On the opposite side of Mr. Jenkins. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. You doing good? Ah, well. Alright, well, you stay there. You be good. And, uh... I'm going to be calling you Rex, <laughs> because I like that name. Rex is a good name. I like Rex. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and grab us another name tag. Doop. There we go. And down to our anvil we go. Alright, and I'm going to be trying out this new enchanting stuff. Oh, well, that pig didn't survive. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's alright. Here we go. And Rex. There we go. Now, I am definitely going to try to make sure I put some type of door on my bedroom now. I really don't want these guys getting out. <laughs> these name tags are not easy to come by. Here you go, Rex. Good boy. Alright, you stay on my bed. Don't do anything I wouldn't do up here. That goes for you too, Mr. Jenkins. You keep an eye on him. Alright, so I've been doing a little bit of testing and I got this andesite here on the wall and I think it looks pretty good. I've actually updated my texture pack to uh, the snapshot version where I believe they have the um, textures in for these new bricks here, these new um, pieces of stone. So it looks a little bit different than it might have before, a little bit more redefined. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. I I think this andesite looks really nice on the wall, kind of surrounded by the stone like that. I do like the way it looks. So let's go ahead and finish this off a little bit. I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, I, I really kind of like that. Plus, I think you can actually make this into polished andesite. I don't think I've looked at that yet. That even looks really nice. In fact... I think that might be kind of cool to put a block in front of each um, picture like that. In fact, do the paintings count as a block in front? I'm curious. Alright, I'm going to try and see if I can't find some clay in here. I think I got some clay right here somewhere. Yep, there we go. So let me grab like six pieces of you. And, ooh, more cooked salmon. And we're going to put you in there, put you in there. I've also went ahead and made up an iron pickaxe. And I need another shovel, so I'm going to make one of those. Plus, wait, what are you doing? You need to go there. I want to try out this new enchanting stuff, and I think all my lapis is downstairs. Nope, there it is. Oh, there's my phone. You need a shush phone. I ain't got times for that. 
All right, so I'm gonna grab some lapis. I think this is what we need now, if I read correctly. Oh lord, here we go. Let me turn this thing off. All right, there we go, phone's off, we're good. <laughs> Otherwise, it was gonna keep going off. All right, let's see. Bricks, lapis, where am I going? Ah, darn phone's got me all confused now. All right, first of all, I wanna jump through here and see about making some flower pots. I want to see if these will set in front of the paintings. <gasps> yes! Perfect! Good! Because now, I can put, um, either some of these guys. Hmm. I've always liked the way the birch looked. Or even some of the flowers. I might, oh! And I found the orchids, I'm sorry! My brain's in overdrive mode right now. Where are they? Yeah, see, I found some more of these blue orchids sitting in the um, swamp close by, so I went ahead and picked those guys up. Let's go ahead and eat some, some salmon. Yum, yum. Alright, so I don't know if I want to put this directly in front of the photos or the uh, paintings, but I think that actually looks kind of cool. Kind of like that. I might leave like a trim of stone in here around like that and just replace Ooh, running a little low on the andesite and just replace like this back part of stone with the andesite because I do like the way that looks over there it's not much contrast or much difference well actually it kind of is texture is kind of different it's a little lighter I don't know I think it just looks really good I like the way it looks so I'm gonna probably change the majority of this wall out with andesite now I'm pretty sure there's a way to actually craft it I just I don't remember it's got something to do with cobblestone Oop, there we go yeah see I think I'm really gonna like that all right Rex you need to be quiet boy are you hungry I have some pork chop here here is that good? Here, I got another one. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. All right, so I'm gonna get some more of these um, flower pots made up, and I'm gonna see if I can get some more andesite, because I'm pretty sure you can actually craft that. Does it have something to do with... <gasps> ah, diorite and cobblestone, but I think there's also a way you can make diorite. I don't remember. I'm gonna do that, just because I need more of it. Oops. Darn it. <laughs> Quit extra clicking. I don't need all that. There we go. And one, two, three, and four. There we go. Yeah, I like the way that looks. More flower pots on each side. Maybe um, change up the flowers every once and again. And I think once we change out this wall, and I'm going to try and change out this wall with the andesite, I think it's going to look pretty good. But first... I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this. I'm gonna try out this new crafting, or this enchanting thing, and I think, yeah, the texture pack's not updated, so if I'm not mistaken, that lapis will go on that side? Or is it this side? Uh, I think it's this side. Yeah, I think it's that side. All right, so I'm gonna try an iron pickaxe. Ah, look at that, it even tells you what do you have a chance for? Now I want to try like a lower level enchant. So like efficiency two would be fine for me. Nice, and even gave us efficiency two, cool. All right, so I want kind of like the same thing with my shovel. Efficiency one, efficiency one, and breaking. Hmm. I wonder if this will actually change if I change up the um, torch level here. Because it was still giving me some Pretty high level in chance. Breaking efficiency, efficiency. So I don't, I don't know if that's actually going to even change. That's a lot of torches. <laughs> all right, let me pick up all the torches and try again. Maybe it'll change. The unbreaking one, efficiency three, and efficiency four. Aha. So maybe I should wait for level 30. I don't know, is that just based on an iron shovel or any shovel? 
Hmm. Because it's not changing much. I'm going to have to kind of work around this a little bit, I think. Because I'm not entirely sure about this. Alright, well, I guess I'm probably going to have to go with the unbreaking one for now. Alright. Unbreaking one, that's fine. Well, that's cool. Plus, I need to work on this room a little bit, and I think we'll do that in the next couple episodes. But I think that's going to about do it for today. I think what I'm going to do real quick is try to switch out these walls with the andesite. Uh, and I'll show you guys what that looks like next episode. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the lands of Bentley. And our new friend Rex here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, we'd really appreciate it. Me, Rex, and Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> so, thank you guys again. And until next time, goodbye.